video we'll have a play along with Jolly Sailor Bold. So the first thing we want to look at is how many beats are there in the bar? What is the time signature? So here we'll see it's got four, four. That means four beats of, and the length of each beat is a quarter note. So that's important that we just keep the longer notes long enough because sometimes uh, when you play, people rush through, they don't really count the exact uh, number of beats. Then also to see uh, how many sharps are there, how many flats, so what key signature it is in, so that we know what finger pattern to play. So in this one is A minor, so there are no sharps, no flats. So it will be normal ones, so no half position, no low ones. And then all where we are playing on the D, A in the E string, there will be low twos. So we're not going to play on the G string. And then, but then in the song, it also changes on the second line, you'll see, of my score. It goes to a G sharp. So the G on the D string has to be then extended. So the third finger will go further. Now, if you play fourth finger instead of open strings, when you have that high three, you can put your pinky right next to it. For this video, I will just be playing open strings. Good, so these are little things to look out for. So let's see if we can get, um, you also hear there's going to be a beat going in the background so that we can really feel exactly where we're going with that. So let's uh, play together. sing it in the movie then you once you know the notes you can um, uh, make some notes longer do a little bit of a ritardando going a bit slower so then you have the freedom to really express yourself this is just to re get straight through it to really know which are the long notes which are the short notes and then you can put your own stamp on that I hope this was helpful uh, for to help you to find the notes and to be able to follow in the score enjoy practicing <laughs> 